Yeah, so, um, you know, to me it comes down to taking control over it, which is not easy um, because of all these strong, evolutionarily ancient uh, driving forces that pull us towards some behaviors that we may consciously have decided are not good for us. But it does start with awareness of what, um, what our fragilities are, what our limitations of our mind are, that we can't do everything at the same time, that we are susceptible to being drawn to these very sort of simple bottom-up influences. Um, so awareness is the beginning, but it's not enough. Um, behavioral change is super complicated. I'm not actually an expert in behavioral change, but from my own practice, um, you know, what, we're, what I think that we're really trying to do is form new habits that then don't require that um, high degree of effort all the time, that become more effortless. And so building habits around a healthy interaction with technology involves first being aware of where the negative touch points are and then starting the training process of, of restructuring your life so that your relationship is healthier. So for me, it comes down to realizing that sometimes multitasking is awesome and perfect for what my goals are. It's fun. I feel like it's, uh, it's a great way to do things that are low level, but you would not want to do them alone. They're just too boring. And so I'll like put times aside where I'll just multitask like crazy because it's super fun. I'll play music. I'll be jumping from here to here. Whatever pulls me is fair game. But I wouldn't like flip over to writing an article that's very important that is takes a high degree of attention and, and sustained attention over time. So I'll set upon I'll set aside different times even on my calendar for single tasking, and say this is where I quit social media put my phone to airplane mode, close my door, and focus. And um, anything that's time sensitive, that has a high quality signature required for it, I will start doing that for. And now I could do it for an hour, no problem, but that's because I, for a year, over a year now, two years, I've been baby stepping with like smaller periods of time doing that. And then giving myself breaks. Like So maybe five minutes, take a break, but that break is not social media. That break is maybe you know quiet focus meditation or some push-ups, do some physical exercise or looking at nature um, right here out my window, um, and then getting right back in 30 seconds later. And all the time having the goal to go for a full hour of focused attention, sort of like training for a marathon. Like you don't just run 20 miles, you know, you run a smaller amount and you build it up. So you know I don't consider myself a self-help expert. Um, I, I'm only saying what I do for my own challenges with technology, uh, which I have as much as everyone. I love technology probably more than most people. Um, so this, this approach that I've taken, I feel has allowed me to interact with it in a, in a healthier manner.